Well, good morning, America. This is Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. How's everybody doing this morning? Good to see you. It's a wonderful day. Well, today I thought I'd talk to the young folks a little bit about uh, sex and on, on how, if you're not real careful about it, could get yourself killed. And uh, I don't want that to happen to none of my young voters out there going to vote for Jim Bob for president. So uh, here's the deal. I'm going to explain to you how you got to be careful about the sex situation because it's a very dangerous. Uh, people have been using sex for millions of years to get things, people killed and uh, animals killed. And I'll start with the animal part of it. Uh, you see if a fella are going out there to hunt him a turkey or a deer or something like that. And the hunters say, what they do, uh, say a turkey hunter, he goes down and gets his, sits up next to a tree and uh, it gets real still and everything, but the turkeys, they're smart. They can see right a long ways, and so uh, he got to figure out how to get them up close enough to them where he can shoot them. So what does he do? Well, he goes out there and he gets him a decoy. It uh, looks like a pretty little female turkey, and he sticks it out there up pretty close to him. And gets him a turkey call and he goes, Squawk, squawk, bah, 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 bah. I mean, the turkeys that sound like a turkey. I can't sound like a turkey. I don't know how to do it. But anyways, it makes the turkey sounding. And so the the big old male turkey, uh, he's saying, Oh man, that sounds like a pretty girl over there. I'm going up there. Squawk, 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 squawk. It's my territory. I'm coming up here to get me some. And it's so always sticking on up, sticking on up. And the hunter, he's sitting there real still. It's calling some more squawk, 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 and then that old male turkey comes up, and sure enough, he gets within a range, and boom, he's dead, just like that, it's over with, and then the sex done killed that turkey, the same thing with a hunter, the hunter goes out there, and he puts the female deer, pheromone stuff on the trees, and smells them all up like that, and, and the Big old buck comes looking around and says, Oh man, that smells like a pretty girl there. Oh, I'm going to meet that girl. I'm going to take her out to the movies. And I sneaks up there and sure enough, as soon as the old deer walks on in there within range, that old deer hunter just goes, BAM! Shoots the old deer down dead. And what does he do? He just cuts his head off. I never understood why the deer hunters are hanging the heads up on the wall and the the back part of the behind the heads the part you need to eat they want to put the heads up on the wall and and uh, whoever heard of a deer with his back behind part of him coming out the other, of the wall in the bedroom or something or other it's crazy to me I've never been in the bedroom to sit at the rear end hind of the deer but they stick them on the wall that's what they do and uh, so that's how that works now when it comes down to humans it's a little bit different you can still get killed on account of sex if you're the human, see. If you're young and foolish, like I've never been young and foolish, I'm, I'm old now, I'm well, three quarters of a century old just about. But uh, if you're really young and you're foolish, and you say you go to a movie or something like that, in, uh, I mean a, a party or something like that, and you get to the party and you, uh, you have a couple of drinks and you're getting a little woo-woo and everything, and you look over there and say you're a feller and you look over there and there's this pretty young girl over there looking at you and, uh, and you're married and she's married and she's uh, giving you a little eye contact and you go over and talk to her a little bit she says oh husband don't treat me very good he don't never buy me no flowers no more and all that stuff and he, you had too many drinks to drink and you say to her well I'll, I'll, if you was my filly I'd be buying you flowers every day and stuff like that. No, further, before you know it, them two's uh, off in the motel somewhere having an A fair. And uh, so what's going to happen then? Well, maybe nothing. I don't know. But you know what could happen? This is what could happen. They go on and uh, the other spouses find out. That could be the female spouse. It could be the male spouse finds out about it. And that kind of got jealous and they don't like that too much. And they get them a gun. And sure enough, to go on down there to the uh, uh, Sunny Side Afternoon Delight Motel and burst through the door, and bam, bam, there's a dead man. Thank you, ma'am. So, say, sex can kill you no matter what 
you are an animal or a human, and humans and animals are all the same, anyways. And uh, so, I'm just trying to give you a fair warning to watch out about the sex. You got to be uh, honorable about it and uh, stuff like that. And uh, the same thing, see, the turkey's trying to get him another woman when he already had one. And same thing with the deer. They already had him a girlfriend and all that kind of stuff. So, you need to be loyal to your girlfriends and your boyfriends, and you won't get yourself killed by the sex. So that's all Jim Bob's got to say today about sex. So uh, y'all have a wonderful day and uh, be faithful to whoever you love. Jim Bob's out.